Hey everybody, I have today the Voigtlander 75mm f1.5 lens. This is a VM mount, which is basically a Leica M mount. I just posted my review at the website stevehufffoto.com. There's actually two reviews of this lens there from myself and one from good friend Ashwin. This lens is a 75 millimeter F1.5 lens. So this is a fast aperture, all metal construction, beautiful, beautiful lens, again in Leica M mount. That means I can use it on a Leica M, I can use it on a Leica SL with adapter, a Sony A7, A9 with adapter, EOS R, Nikon Z with adapter. That's the beauty of mirrorless cameras. You can mount lenses like this to almost any of them. Um, but this lens came to me from Camera Quest. Stephen Gandy over there sent me this copy and I adore this lens. In fact, it reminds me a little bit, a little bit of a legendary lens that I have right here on my SL. This is a knocked Nikkor, they call it, from Nikon, a 58 f1.2, a very much sought after lens, very expensive lens, while the knocked Nikkor is a little more dreamy and creamy and surreal, the 75 Voigtlander brings a little bit of that to the mix, but it's a little more modern compared to the knocked Nikkor. Now compared to something like a Leica 75 Sumalux, this lens competes, I think, very well. It's a little bit different of a rendering, but still has a magical, creamy, uh, smooth, great color on the cameras I've used it on. This lens is small, it's something like 12 ounces, just over 12 ounces. It's light, it comes in black or silver, silver does not weigh any more. There are 12 aperture blades, which helps create that silky, smooth, bouquet. The cool thing is this is small, you can see it in my hand, and it comes in at $9.99 for an uber fast 75 millimeter. Now in the past I've reviewed Voigtlander's 75.18. I enjoyed it, but it was a little boring when you compare it to this kind of lens. I am a fan of artistic lenses, lenses that give you something unique. The Voigtlander is kind of a mix of classic, and modern, but there's no busy bokeh, there's no annoying bokeh, there's no off colors, there's no color cast, and it works just as well on a Sony a7 III, on a Leica SL, as it does on an M10 body, for example. The Voigtlander comes with an all metal hood. Again, it's all metal construction, but it's for those who want something unique, something a little different. Um, this is not going to render, say, in a way like, a Leica 75 Sumicron. A Sumicron is going to bring sharpness across the frame, high contrast, high pop, uh, and more perfection, right? Some people like those kind of lenses. This lens will give you a little bit more artsy mojo, a little more fun, and it's not soft. Actually, at 1.5, it's rather sharp, which has a way of bringing us our subject in a nice, rounded, organic way, and the backgrounds are just blown out like a painting. In fact, when I see backgrounds blown out with bokeh so smooth and such rich color, and it reminds me of a painting, I immediately want the lens. I'm a fan of lenses like that, and this Voigtlander does that with ease. In fact, when you're looking at some of the images, you can see the background is such a blur, but it's not a busy mess. It looks like someone took a brush and painted that background in while your subject is front and center and in focus. Another cool thing about this lens is when you nail focus, it's a manual focus lens, which I love, but when you nail focus, you're, say you're taking a portrait, you're not gonna see every eyelash separated. You're not gonna see every flaw in the skin you're not going to see every little minute detail. It's sharp, wide open, but it's rendering in a different kind of way. That's more pleasing to your subject if you're shooting people. And this lens is optimized to shoot between one and three meters. That's where you're gonna get the best performance if you're shooting it on a rangefinder, especially. Um, it's not really a landscape type of lens, but I argue you can use this lens for just about anything and anything you shoot with it, it has a way of making it 
just look beautiful. I shot a generic image to test the bokeh, the, the background blur. I just shot my car door as it was open, but it turns it into this really cool looking kind of an image where again, that background is just blown out and your the car door is sharp. It was a snap to test, but it makes the image look surreal. So in the right hands, this lens can create some amazing artistic imagery. The color coming out of this lens is gorgeous. Uh, I love shooting it on the Leica SL because the Leica SL to me is delivering amazing color from that sensor. Uh, four years old already, but it's still in my top two digital cameras of all time for me personally. I still use and shoot the Leica SL. I own a Sony a7 III, I shoot and use that. I own other cameras and lenses, but but shooting lenses like this, and even like the Noct Nikkor on the Nikon, and I'll be doing a video on this lens soon, um, it definitely has some crazy cool um, image quality, uh, this lens. So the Voigtlander 7515, I own the 2135, I own the 35 F2, I own the 35 F12, I own the 512, and now the 75 F15. I have an entire Voigtlander lens collection to shoot on these mirrorless cameras, and that's all I really need. Voigtlander has come a long way over the years. In the past, and I'm talking 10, 15 years ago, I would hear mixed reports from people. Some people would say, don't buy Voigtlander lenses, they're Leica wannabes, they're the poor man's Leica, whatever, whatever. And then I bought a couple early on, a long time ago, when I had an Epson RD1, and I bought a 35 f2.5 pancake lens from uh, my local camera shop, and it was a Voigtlander, and it was really cheap, especially compared to the Leica lenses that I would drool over in the shop, right? So I took this 35 2.5 lens home on my RD1, and I loved it. It was sharp, it had nice color, it had a nice effect. And I was back then saying, I like Voigtlander lenses because I'm saving a lot of money over the Leica and it doesn't seem like I'm sacrificing too much. Now, there are lenses that Voigtlander has released that I have not really cared for. The old 3514 little guy, it's soft, it has kind of weird bokeh, the color's a little muted and off. So there are older lenses in the Voigtlander lineup that I am not a huge fan of, but over the last two, three years, they've been really upping their game. Lenses like the 41.2, the 51.2, uh, that 35 F2 in the vintage line, the 75.15. There's actually a lot more. The lenses they've made and created for Sony full frame E-mount, the FE mount lenses from Voigtlander. That 41.2 and the 51.2 are fantastic. All metal build, they feel just like a Leica lens. Uh, in the hand, and I have had no problems with my Voigtlander glass. So this 75 right here is something I highly recommend. I'm actually pretty excited about this lens. It's probably along with the 35 F12 version two, uh, the 40 F12, um, and now this one. These are my favorite Voigtlander lenses. Beautiful, beautiful. I feel that they could have sold this for $12.99. So at $9.99, it is priced just right. You can use this again on your M, it's a Leica M mount, but you can use it with adapters on a Sony, on an SL, any mirrorless camera you own, just buy the right adapter. I use the Voigtlander close focus adapter for the Sony, and I use a Novaflex adapter for the SL. So there you go, that was the Voigtlander 75 F15 spherical lens. Beautiful lens, small, light, but with beautiful, beautiful, rounded, organic, luscious, colorful image quality. Uh, it's a lens that any fan of manual focus lenses like this, I feel you should at least try one out. It grew on me and it's still growing on me, but I adore it, I love it, and you can buy yours from camerquest.com also at Amazon via Prime. I'll put some direct links below to the silver and the black lens. I'll also link below in the description to the two reviews uh, on my website right now so you can check out the images for yourself, download them, uh, whatever you like to do. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'm Steve Huff for stevehuffphoto.com. 
If you like what I do here, thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll have new videos here when I get something that I feel is exciting to talk about. I don't do videos here every day. I don't do videos here constantly. I talk about things that I love, and when something comes in that gets my juices pumping, gets me excited, I'll sit down here and I'll make a video about it and share my thoughts with you. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Love you all, and I will see you next time.